Hey guys, I wanted to show you an easy way to build an e-commerce store using WordPress. I did some solid research on WordPress and e-commerce. WordPress uses a platform called WooCommerce as an option to do the functionality of an e-commerce store. And WooCommerce comes with a default template. Quite often the default template is actually good enough and solid enough to run an e-commerce store. However, you would need to add on quite a lot of plugins. And one of the things I wanted to achieve with this e-commerce store was optimization and speed. What I have found is that with the default WooCommerce template, you needed to add on quite a lot of plugins in order to really dial in, set up and, and make sure the e-commerce store operates like perhaps like an Amazon-like uh, style. Pretty much the standard features that you would find in an e-commerce store. One of the criteria was to have an Amazon-like experience without having to add on heaps of plugins to achieve that. After extensive research, I found a template called Shoptimizer. The reason why I would perhaps recommend a template for WooCommerce is because it allows you to perhaps have a more optimized code. The thing with having a free theme is that they restrict a lot of key features and you would have to use plugins to add on those features such as like countdown timers, suggested products, review function and that sort of thing. With a paid theme, what you actually get is an all-in-one solution. With adding on plugins with WordPress, you'll actually just be increasing the amount of code required to run the website. And with more code comes more complexity and the chances of perhaps having a slower site or a less optimized site. The reason why I picked Shoptimizer is because it had a lot of features and didn't require much work in terms of having to install extra plugins and that sort of thing. It came fast out of the box and well optimized out of the box. So the key things to think about when running an e-commerce store with WordPress is the hosting side of things. I would recommend a hosting provider that has WordPress hosting available. The reason why I would select something that has WordPress hosting is because those shared servers are actually optimized for WordPress and they've got one-click installations as well. So it makes it a lot easier to actually get it up and running. So what we'll do is we will jump straight into my computer and I'll show you what Shoptimizer is like out of the box and things to look out for, as well as researching some hosting providers that you could potentially use. Okay, let's do some initial homework here and look for some WordPress hosting. So I'll just jump into Google and the uh, idea of this is just to show you what to look for when you're wanting to host a WordPress site for an e-commerce store. Okay, so initial Google searching. Okay, I've already looked at Bluehost. These are your Google ads. Um, so we'll click on that. GoDaddy is a good one. SiteGround. SiteGround's a good one. Oh, let's just look at HostGator. I guess they kind of made the effort to pay for some Google ads. Anyway, so the whole purpose of this is just to have a look and see what to look for when seeing WordPress hosting options. Okay, so let's have a look at their plans. So Bluehost, so it's $3.94 for their basic, $6.61 for plus and plus choices, $6.61, same price. Looks like they are doing a little bit of a discount. Okay, so that's on a 36 month term and I could imagine you could pay for these annually as well. So the basic will give you one website, 50 gigabytes of SSD storage, etc., etc. You get a free domain, free SSL certificate and a CDN included. So that's pretty cool. Um, you definitely need an SSL certificate if you want to run an e-commerce store and you definitely want a CDN network. So then it will load from different locations globally, pretty much. I guess 
if you're wanting just to build one e-commerce store, then to be honest, the basic will be ideal for you. If you are, I guess, quite a large e-commerce store, then you'd probably want unlimited SSD storage, depending on how many products you have on your store online. Let's have a look at GoDaddy. So GoDaddy is a real favorite. I think GoDaddy is good because it's really user-friendly. So let's have a look at their website hosting with WordPress, if I can find it, WordPress hosting. Okay, so WordPress hosting with GoDaddy is a little bit more expensive, $7.69 for, per month on a three-year plan for basic. So what do you get? So you do get the SSL certificate, you get the domain, get a business email, 30 gigabytes of storage, slightly less than the other one. Okay, and then they've got Deluxe. They've got a lot of um, stepped stepped up plans, to be honest, $9.89, okay, $15.39. Whoa, it's actually quite expensive, but I guess they do have really good support. 75 gigabyte storage, that's not bad. Hmm, okay. Oh, GoDaddy is quite expensive, I'm surprised. WordPress.com. Okay, so now the thing with WordPress.com is that <clears throat> they don't have many features for uh, e-commerce. It's kind of presumed that it's for like a website. So, I mean, for $5 per month, build yearly, $10 per month, build yearly. I mean, honestly, I don't really know many people that go with uh, WordPress directly simply because they don't have like the CDN uh, network as well as uh, cache management and that sort of thing. So let's just um, jump straight to SiteGround. I've heard really good things about SiteGround. They are pretty quick, I've heard. You got $5.99 per month. Or a grow big plan at eight dollars ninety nine. One website, ten gigs of web space. Whoa, that's not much web space. Um, ten thousand visits per month. So when thinking about e commerce, you'd really want to think about the visitors vis visitors per month. It's not just like a basic website with e commerce. The goal is to drive as much traffic to your site as possible. So visits per month need to be quite high. Your web space, you need to think about your web space. With e-commerce, you'd be adding a lot of new products in depending how large your store is. So you want that sort of freedom. And then I guess you get the free CDN and free SSL like the others. So, I mean, that's okay, but I think Bluehost is in the lead still. Let's have a look at HostGator. Okay, so HostGator, so you get unlimited, unmetered bandwidth, $2.75 per month, $3.50 per month, $5.25 per month. So that's actually a really good deal, the baby plan. Um, maybe because they're kind of new on the market, so they want to compete. Uh, unlimited websites, cool. So I'm just wondering like how much storage actually is that plan doesn't say, but I mean, that's a pretty good price to be honest. Does that come with a free domain? Oh, okay. Sorry. I take that back, including a free domain and free SSL certificate. So they should probably put that in there because that's kind of confusing. Let's look at hosting. -er. Okay. So you've got $1.39 per month. $2.59 per month or $3.99 per month. One website, 100 website, 100 website, 30 gigs, 100 gigs or 200 gigs, unlimited bandwidth, which is really cool. Free domain, free SSL certificate on the premium plan, 99.9% .9 uptime. Cool. So hosting is not too bad, but I shouldn't really be saying that because it's a little bit biased as I use hosting in myself. So out of all of them, I think, the cheapest bang for your buck, you're looking at Bluehost or Hostinger. I'm really surprised at the prices of GoDaddy. Um, maybe they're trying to go for like the premium market or something like that. But those prices are pretty expensive, to be honest, especially for your first e-commerce store. Okay, so that's hosting out of the way. Let's have a look at the e-commerce theme that I am using that I would highly recommend. So Shoptimizer. So Shoptimizer is by Commerce Gurus. Commerce Gurus, they uh, create a lot of cool apps and that sort of thing for people. This is their Shoptimizer theme. 
And they always have this like 24 hour flash sale. So make sure you don't pay like full price for it, FYI. So they say here, Shoptimizer is a fast WooCommerce theme that comes with a ton of features all designed to help you convert more users to customers. So this is what Shoptimizer is about. And they say that they're the fastest e-commerce theme. Minified and critical CSS created automatically. I mean, that's pretty cool because normally you have to use a plugin for that. Um, so it's good that it comes out of the uh, box for that sort of thing. And it's true, they do get incredible speed scores. Design for conversions, yes. So everything is kind of well thought out. But the main thing really, apart from all of these features that you get, it all comes out of the box. You don't have to download any extra plugins. And as I was saying, as you install more plugins, uh, the more complex the code base gets and the slower the site gets because the site needs to load up a whole bunch of code and to be honest in terms of how much code will actually be used i don't think much of the code will be used in terms of utilization when you add on a whole bunch of plugins and that sort of thing but anyway so that's the shoptimizer there i would highly recommend that let's have a look how much it costs i think it says 49 bucks yeah okay so yeah 49 bucks 50 percent off so 49 dollars for this theme is very good for a, a woocommerce based theme and so let's have a look at the theme in action my this is the theme here with my online store, which is shop.muralistgeeks.com. Sorry, I'm logged in as admin, so that's why it looks real weird. Um, so this is the theme here in action, and this is it live with products added to it. This sort of stuff here I've kind of added myself, changed things around a little bit. But other than that, it's really the base theme, and that's what it looks like. And then if I click on uh, a product, say this one here, this is what the products page looks like. Okay, so this is what the product page looks like. I'm super clean. And the good thing is, is that it's like responsive as well. So it runs really well on mobile. And um, yeah, it comes with this related products or you could also do like, another thing where it says uh, other people also purchased and it comes up below as well. So it's got a lot of high quality inbuilt e-commerce features like these guaranteed safe checkout here. It comes with uh, these little hover zoom in things as well. Just really cool little things that um, you get straight out of the box. Okay, let's look at the actual uh, dashboard side of things. And I'll show you what Shoptimizer is like for an administrator. We'll go into customize. So it's super easy to uh, customize Shoptimizer. What I would recommend once you purchase Shoptimizer is actually install the demo data because the demo data will help you build the structure of the page. And then all you have to do is really just add your products and information and change the categories and that sort of thing. Um, so that's a hot tip there, FYI. So everything is customizable from the appearance screen. And then what you can do is install something like Elementor to uh, adjust things on the appearance side as well. But I really just stuck with this and just like edited it this way. Um, so these are all the things that you can edit here. So it's pretty much everything. And you can change the layout as well. And what it does is it adds a whole bunch of widgets in here, but these widgets are really kind of like inbuilt plugins, but they're kind of optimized in its own code. So that's what makes this theme like super fast. So you can change everything from the colors. Here's the layout menu and you can add your additional CSS as well, but pretty much like a lot of the things that you require editing, you can edit from here pretty much. And the cool thing is, is that if you click on mobile, this is what it looks like on mobile as well. So it's like optimized for mobile and desktop, which is cool. Okay, so this is what the category pages look like. So um, you've got this left-hand side, which has got like the product categories, recent posts, recent comments for reviews, 
top rated products and that sort of thing. So it's kind of built to sell rarely. Okay, guys, so this is the one thing that I would highly recommend is this import demo data. So when I first got Shoptimizer, I didn't have the demo data. So it made it kind of hard to edit and um, get the online store up and running. So I would highly recommend importing that demo data. So you've got like at least some base categories and um, set up to have in order to get your store up and running. Okay, so let's look at the GT metric score of this Shoptimizer theme that I've used. And this would pretty much show you how powerful this theme is for e-commerce out of the box analyze that okay so we've got an a rating and we've got a time to load of 3.2 seconds so that is super fast for an e-commerce store all right guys it's quite late so i'm just gonna like get some lighting in here so you can see me so i hope that was super helpful let me know if you have any questions about shoptimizer or if you want any free help or advice on what to do with an e-commerce store on WordPress, uh, just let me know. I'm more than happy to help.